11-year-old Emily Anderson and her 17-year-old sister Caitlin have been without their dad for the past 10 months while he's been stationed in Iraq. They thought he wasn't coming home for another two months, but today they got a very special surprise while they were in school. For the better part of a year, Sherry Anderson and her five daughters have been without her soldier husband, Jeremy, a helicopter mechanic with the 834th Aviation Unit. He actually missed their graduation. And they graduated in prom and um, moving them to college. He got out of that, too. <laughs> Sherry and Jeremy initially told all their daughters that he would be deployed for a year in the hopes of surprising them with an early return. We all kind of found out, and she was mad about it, but <laughs> we helped her out, so we were sniffing and figuring it out. Darn! I can't keep any secrets. No. <laughs> she, she's not good. House full of girls, you can't keep any secrets. <laughs> the older three became part of the plot to surprise their younger sisters. Monday, Sherry drove to Fort Hood, Texas to pick up Jeremy and then back to Tulsa in time to surprise Emily at Haskell Middle School. So where's Emily Anderson at? Now this husband and father is home just in time for the holidays. Just being away and knowing that, you know, you can't be there for special little events and stuff like that that they're doing and, you know, something breaks, you know, out there to fix it. With almost his entire family reunited, there's just one more stop for Sergeant Anderson to make. A visitor for you all for your Thanksgiving story. Come on in. Oh, oh my God. God. At Broken Arrow High School to surprise his daughter, Caitlin. I was really shocked. Like, I didn't know he was coming till two months, so it was amazing. Anderson's unit doesn't have any immediate plans to deploy again, so he'll also be spending the Christmas holiday with them as well. Reporting from Broken Arrow, Casey Roebuck, 2 News Works for you. This is on video, yeah. Where's our video camera? Uh, full of the balloon trip. Wait till you see the rat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you going to feed him? Yes. What? What are you doing mm -hmm. here? What? <laughs>
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I'm going to have a... Oh, they already got that. I just need a glass of water, Chuck. Thanks. Look at that. One happy family there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want to move to the other side. <laughs> move down that way. We're going to move down that way. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, here's the water. Here's the tree. Right. Can you bring kids? I'm going to hide I'm shaking. I bet you were wondering why they were bringing you way back here. Yeah. I bet you were wondering why they were bringing you way back here. Yeah. Why did he say you want to sit in my car? I just told him to say, hey. You know, like, um, um, you always choose where you're gonna see it, and you say, you you wanna see it? <laughs> <laughs> <Like, why? laughs> see? So, okay, baby, we, that's enough. Is that enough? Is that enough? Y'all happy? Sure. Everybody's happy? Yeah. <laughs> is he saying like, saying <laughs> saying? Okay. No. I think I turned it off, Mark. Okay. Hit the button again. Does that stop it from yeah. the video? Okay. Can you want to sit on that side with Lamar, and yeah. I'll sit on this side? Well,
Joyce Lynn Dominguez. At 10, a big surprise for a family attending tonight's Admirals game. Yona Govino joins us now with the unexpected outcome. Shannon, his two teenage sons thought they were being honored as hometown heroes. They've made plenty of sacrifices and moved nine different times wherever their dad was stationed. Little did they know their own hero was waiting backstage to surprise them. Andros and John Gabriziak have grown up a lot in the year their dad John has been deployed. He's in the Army and serves in the South Pacific. But all of a sudden, he was right behind them. A big hug from his mom, and then his wife of 22 years, Valerie. It was just so amazing to finally see him in person. You know, we see him on Skype, we see him, you know, in pictures, and it's just like, oh, he's here, I can touch, I can actually hug him again, and that's wonderful. It's a homecoming surprise about a month in the making. John only told Valerie about it two days ago. She's like, what do you mean you're coming home? Aren't you still in Guam? And it's like, um, no. <laughs> It was a nerve-wracking day that started at 6 a.m. Flew to Dallas, plane was delayed there for about an hour, flew to Kansas City, and then I finally made it here about 4 o'clock this afternoon. His wife says she's just as proud of her boys as she is of John. During this deployment, it was really hard. I had medical issues and whatnot, and they had to just, you know, step in there and help. And for now, the family is looking forward to getting away, maybe a trip to the Mall of America. And the boys say they also want to show off their dad to their classmates at school. Shannon. Oh, it gives you chills. I'm glad they're reunited. Thank you, Yona. All right, here we go to surprise Brandy. Sister love. Surprise! Mm. Gotcha!
of course. <laughs> For a long time. Yeah, oh my God, keeping this a secret has been a beat. Oh, oh my God, I'm just shaking like crazy. <laughs> I like your dress. <laughs> I've seen that before. Oh my gosh. Surprise. You didn't go to the first time. <laughs> oh, you look so good. Thank you. Uh, the little girlies don't know yet. We're going to go to their school too. We have no idea. You're off tomorrow. You're off way. too. Huh? It's, you're off tomorrow. It's all been set up already. How did you do that? <laughs> And you're not going I to stayed in the hotel last night. You were supposed to be in yesterday. Yeah, I was supposed to <laughs> That's why I was going out of town. I'll go get him. Leave early. Well, they didn't get in. So I stayed at a hotel. I was in town the whole day yesterday. I was over at Guy's working. And you're not going to warm tonight. I know that too. Get together, get it's in not between. Real, is it? Huh? it doesn't feel real, does it? You guys no. all get together. Y'all get together. Oh. Oh. God. That's a stupid name tag. <laughs> they all have name tags. They do. Ooh, this is cool. You it knew up your this whole time? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, gosh. I Maybe let's try, like, right here. This East Central High School student is a reporter in training. So just a few questions. Um, you can just look at me while okay. we're having the interview, just like me and you are having a conversation. Cassandria Alvarado coaches her subject, Associate Principal Stacy Pfizer, on what to expect during the interview. Good morning, everybody. The journalism student is working on a project, talking to teachers as well as her peers. Awesome, thank you so much. And through training, journalists learn to share all things secret. When you make a memory, it never goes away. But Cassie's parents lovingly have learned the art of keeping quiet. I didn't want to tell anyone. Which I'm sure was really hard for her. You see, the patriarch of the Bauer family has been in Afghanistan since July. The Air Force flight paramedic was on a sixth deployment overseas. I just got back a couple weeks ago. Uncle Sam gave all three Bowers an early holiday gift. Next year. It was nice to uh, get back home uh, to my family. How has that enhanced your high school career? On this special day, this inquisitive student is the only person in this room to be completely clueless, including the fact that the school's mascot reveals her father is safe for more. Oh my gosh, all right, what's your answer? <laughs> The school's principal led the way for the homecoming. I'm going to be honest with you, this was planned before Thanksgiving, as you know. Yeah. They were coming out to video you, to video in the kids. Did yes. they really surprise you? Yes, I didn't think you would be home till my graduation. I'm like so, this is so crazy. But now, oh Dad is home for Christmas.